I know you guys have a new album when you're, you're working on recording a new album. Can you tell me a little about that? So yeah, you know, um, Face and I had like 10 songs. We were starting at another studio. Um, and in the recording process, things just kind of creatively didn't work out with our last drummer. And, um, you know, that happens and that's fine. Um, but the songs like still live on and now we're like revamping them and like creating it kind of more to our like inspirations and like our roots in like hardcore and like beat down in music. Um, so yeah, like there's certain elements that we need and like that brings like all of Josh's talents to the plate because not only is he a producer, but he's a fucking great drummer. And uh, thanks, man. Yeah, dude. And like the, we grew up listening to stuff like The Bled and stuff like, uh, I don't know, At the Driver, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and then also nice. too, like you know, I don't know you, you have an affinity for like Slayer and like you know uh, Slipknot, like these heavier parts. But then also too, like pop punk stuff, like Newfound Glory, like that shit is great. It's catchy. What a mix At yeah. the Drive In and Slayer and. Very cool. Same kind of energy, but, you know, totally different ends of the musical spectrum right there for you. Yeah, and like I said, so Josh and I were playing covers together, right? We were playing Weezer and yeah. Book 182. 90s covers, you know. Yeah. Alternative covers. Yeah, and shedding, fun. Yeah, shedding our chops. So now it's like we have all these, like, like this arsenal of, of like, ideas and talent. So we're going to redo the album uh, with Josh as, like, the produ main producer and fucking drummer and he's like writing these parts in partnership with me and Mark and it's like really exciting. Yeah, we're having a blast man. These songs are written so nicely like it just like it's it's so easy to just like track themselves you know. So we, got, we, we have so much fun doing it. So Josh you're recording and producing the album you would say? Uh, yeah well I'm on playing it? drums on it and uh, you know I, I, run a, I run a studio where it's kind of like it's kind of turnkey you know so I just kind of like we get everybody in the room and we just let it roll and then we listen back. If we get anything good, awesome. You know, then we can start building on it. You know. So I'm just like a drummer, you know, that has everything set up and I just kinda You're more of like a <laughs> you're more of like a facilitator. Yeah, like, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Right. But you know, these songs, these guys these guys have been writing them and rearranging them and these guys are doing all the heavy work. And what so what's the timeline for the album release? Well, right now, so like I said, we started and we have like heck. So now that we've been playing, like I want to like re-record what we're going to put out as like a full length album. We've done three songs though, where we've taken stems of like my guitar playing, faces, bass playing, and my um, vocals that I like from our last session. And we've got them, we've got like a rough, mix of our, fir of our first EP. So we're gonna do a, a EP release in three songs and we're gonna call it something straightforward. Um, we tossed around the name Punk as Fuck because I think that explains who we are. You know, yeah. we're just some punk as fuck motherfuckers. <laughs> so, you know. So we'll do a three song EP and then I think for the larger album, like, there's just so much creativity going on in this music that it's worth the time to like re-explore all of them before we really like write them down and record them. Yeah, cool man.